guys welcome um my name is alan and i uh i did a course earlier on how to start your own barbershop and quite honestly it got pretty good views on youtube and because of those views and because of how many comments and how many questions were asked i decided to do this course i decided to do an advanced course on how to start your own barbershop to kind of walk you through from start to finish um starting your own barbershop and this video is to show you what you can get inside the course. Now, a lot of people, um, well, I've seen a, maybe two courses, but they didn't show you what you get inside the course. And for me, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like spending my money on things that I don't know about and then only to spend my money to find out that it's probably information that I don't want. So what I decided to do is I decided to do this small video so you guys can see exactly what you're getting. Now this is the home page that you're looking at right now. And what will happen is as soon as you are um, inside the members area, or as soon as you sign up, uh, you can go through all of the information here, discover the secret to starting um, your barbershop fast, attract customers on command, uncover the fastest way to attract barbers for your shop. All of this stuff is kind of covered in the course. Um, if you're ready to start your own barbershop, you can click purchase here, um, but you're going to learn how to put together a business plan. Do you know most people when they start a barbershop, almost all the people that start a barbershop never put together a business plan. They just have a great idea. But how many of you know that if you have a great idea and don't have a way to execute that idea, you just have a idea that's waiting to fail. So, what you want to do is you want to put together a business plan. Now, a business plan is not complicated. It's not complex. It's not even hard to do. But we walk you through step by step on some things to think about while starting your barbershop. Um, you're going to learn some strategies you need to grow your barbershop. Most people who get into um, owning their own barbershop, they're mainly barbers. Some of them are not barbers. Some of them uh, just want to own a shop. And in both cases, you need to understand business. You need to understand what business is about and how it is constructed and then how to grow it. Now, I personally don't train and do this course. Um, it is a course that I learned from that I found to be uh, very useful and very helpful in me understanding what business is and what business is not. So I put that inside the course. Um, how to repair your credit. Some of you are going to... Um, want to borrow money in order to get your barbershop started. Some of you are going to have cash on hand and you're going to be able to start your barbershop with the cash you have on hand. Some of you already know that you're going to want to use credit cards or you're going to want to go into a bank and get a loan. And in both cases, they're going to view your credit. They're going to look over your credit to see if you're credit worthy. And if you are, you can get the money. If you're not, then you won't. Well, I show you some of the things that I did personally to repair my credit, to get my credit score up, to get it where it needed to be so I could get credit if I wanted to. Um, you're going to get marketing strategies that work and increase your shop's profit. So um, one of the most overlooked things that people do when they go into a barbershop or opening their own barbershop is they overlook how they're going to get customers through the door. They overlook the aspect of getting traffic through the door. They put so much money into how the barbershop looks. They put so much money into the location they have. And then they put very little money into how are we going to promote the barbershop. And this is probably the backbone of any business. So you're going to learn what you can do there. Um, you're going to learn how to get your EIN, find the perfect location, get your equipment. You're going to learn a lot of stuff basically in the course. And I'm just going to walk you through it. So here at the bottom, you see that this is our starter course right here, the entrepreneur course. You can select this, and this is where you'll learn how to open your barbershop step by step. Um, the barber marketing marketer course that is going to be work that I'm going to be working on is how to use Instagram, how to use Facebook, how to use social media to promote your shop. Uh, one of the other things that I'm going to be working on is barber mogul, how to make more money as a shop owner. What you can do in your shop to make more money and that's another course that's going to be coming and then this is a little bit about me so since I'm already inside the course uh, let me see if I can switch pages and show you what you'll be looking at as soon as you sign up alright so once you're signed up and it goes through 
you're going to come to this page. It's a very simple page. It's just a, a welcome page. It says, I'm excited you're here. Let's get started. Go to the courses page now, and then you can click here or you can go anywhere up here to view some of the other things that you have going on. <clears throat> so you can view the blog from here. Um, this is my first blog post on this on this site. Um, you can view the courses. Here's the course right here. You can view your membership. I'm not going to view my membership because it shows your personal information. So, um, and it's just for you. So when you're ready to start the course, you would just click on the course. It's going to bring you here. And then here you see everything that you get inside this first module. So in this course, I walk you through the steps needed to start and build your own barbershop. Throughout my 20-year barbering career, I've worked in a variety of shops, including my own. So I've seen and been a part of what works and what doesn't work. I'm sharing my knowledge and experience with you so you can put together a strong and extremely profitable barbershop. So in this first, I guess you would call it module and getting started, because that's where we are right now and getting started, you're going to have... Getting started, the entrepreneur myth, all of these right here, getting your business plan, getting your credit in order, and here is the business portion of it. So if we were to go to getting started, here is everything that's in getting started. Getting your EIN, contacting the state board, evaluating your financial situation, finding a location. Here are all the lessons that are in just the getting started portion of the course. If we go to the entrepreneurial myth, you'll see I have to finish the other ones, but there are a lot of things. That's the small business right there. You'll see here's the chapters of entrepreneurial myth. Um, and then you'll see getting your credit, credit repair kit, and then the instructions, sending your dispute letters. I walk through this whole thing with you on what you can do to get your credit in order so that you can get the money that you need for your barbershop and then your business plan your business plan your pitch your executive summary the opportunity the execution your company your financial plan and your forecast all of this stuff is right here within this course this course is not just something that i threw together and said hey all right contact state board okay after you contact the state board Okay, go find a building. Okay, now that you found a building, uh, put your stuff in your building. Okay, now that you put your stuff in your building, let's get some barbers. Okay, now that you got some barbers, let's see what we're going to do to collect from them. Okay, now that you've done that, now let's just make money. This course is far more detailed than that, um, and it goes over everything that you would absolutely need to get your barbershop up and running. If you find that you have questions, what I'm working on right now is a forum. Um, and that way you can ask your questions in the form and I can answer your questions or another member can answer your questions within the form. So everybody can get their questions answered because I don't want you to get the information, not really be clear on what you need to do next and then just be like, oh, the course was useless. No, the course is here so that I can help you and so that others can help you with what is working for them to get your barbershop up and running and make you as successful as possible. Um, <clears throat> if you want to know where to go, the link below should let you know where to go, uh, as far as, um, what site to go to. This is start your own barbershop.com. You can go right there. You're going to see that you're going to have blog posts, the blog post here, why a business plan is important for your barbershop. And I'm going to have more blog posts up here. Now, all of them are not written by me. It's just great information that is needed for you to be able to absorb and to build and to grow your business. And this is important because being a barber is one thing. Cutting hair in a barbershop is one thing. But being a barbershop owner is another thing. And I found that out the hard way. I found out that what I had was not necessarily a business. What I had was a glorified job. Because if the bulk of my money still came from me cutting hair. The bulk of my money still came from me cutting hair. The barbers that I had, they helped to pay some of the overhead and the rent and different things like that. But the profit for the shop that I was in was not a great deal. And you find that a lot of barbershop owners are in the same boat. 
that they're, they're not making a ton of money and they're dealing with barbers who barely want to come to work, who barely want to do their job, who just want to be able to buy some sneakers or use it as a hangout, whatever the case may be. Every barbershop owner who's opened or closed a barbershop can tell you their story. And there are many stories, but the common denominator in all of the stories is finding good help, finding good help. And so uh, we go over that, how you can find good help. Um, going through your interview process. You need to have an interview process. You need to have a plan. This is funny because even this even this course right here, as you see, I'm signed up for this course. Like I have a membership for this course. Like this is something that's real and you see that I have not started it. I'm in the process right now of opening a barbershop. Um, some of the stuff that, I, that I'm doing to open a barbershop, I'll let you guys know as I'm getting my equipment. I don't plan on opening till roughly next year, but right now I'm planning for it and I'm getting my equipment and all the things that I know that I that I need for my barbershop so that when it's time to open, I don't have to figure out where I'm going to get the money from to get all of my supplies. I share this in my YouTube video and maybe I'll stick my YouTube video on the welcome page. I don't know. So you can watch the YouTube video, but I go over how I start step by step really in getting my my equipment. I don't wait and try to save up a lump sum of money to get my equipment, but I start right away getting my equipment and getting the stuff that I need. So now when it's time to open, all I have to do really is move in, take my stuff and move in. I may need to do plumbing. I may need to do some electrical, but nothing too crazy. I'll have my floor tiles. I'll have everything that I'm going to put on my walls as far as paint colors, all of that stuff. I have all that stuff set up and stored somewhere. Me personally, this is what I do. And then when it's time for me to move in, all I need to do is find a find a building in a location that I'm looking for. So as I'm going through <clears throat> this whole process of getting started and then I listen through these again on what business is and how it can help me and and understanding how to get a business going and start it. So by the time I get here, well, I've already done this, so I don't need to do this and I don't plan on borrowing any money. That's why I'm preparing myself now month by month week by week day by day however you know you decide to do it is up to you but that's how I do it um, what I'm really looking forward to is doing my business plan so I'm going to be working on my business plan through this course to really put my ideas down and see if they work financially and if they work financially then I'll move forward but if they don't work financially then I won't use them at all but that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to be going through this whole course the same as you um, and anytime uh, after you've gone through the course, if you have questions or you think something needs to be added, maybe I missed something. Maybe you feel like, oh, OK, well, you didn't talk about this step and this is what I ran into. We can add that into the course so that it could be more of a complete course. All right. So this is just me letting you guys know what's inside the course, what to expect from start your own barbershop and why it is important for you guys to walk through all of the steps. So. This is um, startyourownbarbershop.com, and if you're ready to learn, you may not be in a position right now where you say, I want to open a barbershop right now, but maybe next year you want to open a barbershop, or maybe the year after that. This course is for you, and it would be wise for you to take the course now and be able to go over the course over and over and over and over again until you get all the information and, and, and you're moving forward and opening your barbershop. So... Um, I look forward to working with you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in the members area. And uh, once again, this is Start Your Own Barbershop. This is my revised Start Your Own Barbershop course. All right. Talk to you guys very soon. Peace.